moving here and there. No. That will not be allowed. We are so honored by the grace of God to have this great servant of the Most High God in our midst today. And that he has granted us the privilege to have him do three sessions with us is such a wonderful thing. I want to really thank God for his life. I want to thank God for, for what, you know, what he just did recently. For our sake, he canceled an event he was going to have so that he could be with us. Praise the Lord. I will not forget to thank Dr. Raphael. Thank you so much, sir. I don't know say we we'll get people like this. My God. Thank you, Reverend Harold, for introducing him to us. We didn't know him that we get this kind of man. We have many of them. Thank you very much. So we have in our midst the founder, the president, the executive director of Petra Christian Academy. He's an educationist. He's an agriculturist. He's a businessman. He's a father. He's a grandfather. In fact, an addition just came into the family recently. A grandchild. And he's a loving husband to the wife. Even though you tell us say that they quarrel sometimes. <laughs> now even on their wedding anniversary they they quarrel. Praise the Lord. Amen. Please, everyone in the hall, join me receive Reverend Dr. Charles Akoki. Come on, please. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Please, can you stretch your right hand in my direction? Thank you. And join your faith with mine and say, Lord Jesus, anoint your servant to preach your word with simplicity, with sincerity, with soundness of doctrine. Holy Spirit, circumcise my ears and fertilize my heart that the words I will hear will produce tangible results. I will come back with testimonies and testimonials of these words. If you believe it, say amen. Please be seated. I want to beg of you to pay rapt attention. Research has shown that prominent people pay attention during lectures. It's usually those who need the lectures most that don't pay attention. I want to thank the Archbishop for giving me the privilege to come and speak here. About two or three weeks back, I also had the privilege of coming for the Faith Arena conferences. I want to thank the leadership of the men for doing such a great work. I want to thank the choir from Abba for being a blessing to our generation. I remember I taught some of them in the Sunday school. I taught some of them as youths taught some of them as men's fellowship leader, and leading men is very difficult. It is easier to lead demons than to lead men. If you bind demons, they will remain bound. If you bind a man, he will lose himself. Sometimes they are. When I was leading men, much younger than most of them, and they were much, much richer than I was. 
And to gather this large crowd is not an easy thing. I also want to thank our brothers that came from the north. You are the strongest set of Christians we have in this country. We respect you. We acknowledge all that you are doing. If there is any way we can support you, please let us know. I'm going to, I have three sessions, so I'm going to take my time. I will start by the definition of terms. Power to exceed myself. I want to thank Dr. Rav. <laughs> we doctors, we used to be very shy people. The way you spoke, I thought I was the only Jaguda doctor that we have, but you won't pass my own. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I'm going to define terms. Then the next session, I will speak on Genesis chapter 26, 12 to 13. Then the last session, which is tomorrow, I'm going to speak on what we can do using technology and using facilities available to live beyond ourselves. So... Though our team is taken from Genesis chapter 26, from 12 to 13, I'm not going there now. We'll come there later. Power to exceed myself. What is power? It is only what is defined that can be understood and refined. Power means authority. Power means jurisdiction. If as a man... You, you go and start playing the role of a pastor, you don't have power to play that role. In that church, it is the pastor that has jurisdiction over that role. As a medical doctor, you have jurisdiction to treat that patient. If you don't have that jurisdiction, you go and do it, you are wrong. Then the next thing is control. Power is the ability to control. The next thing is that power is the ability to command, to issue an instruction. I will share with you the power of your tongue, the power of your mind. Power is to hold sway. Power is to exercise dominion. I remember when Bishop Edo Hassim was ordaining me into ministry, he said, I command you to go to Ugeli and be greater than what has been great there. He commanded me. And when I have challenges, there was a time I was feeding it, finding it difficult to feed. I was having challenges. And I went into a factory and I was praying. I said, God, my bishop commanded me to become greater than what has been great in Ugeli. Why am I not saying it? And by the time I got back to the office, there were people waiting for me to go and speak to the king. So from that co com uh, confusion and feeling inadequate, I went to the king's palace and spoke. Today, there is no pastor in Ugeli that can intimidate me either with wealth, exposure, or anything. That prayer my bishop prayed had come to pass. So it was a command. And I will explain in subsequent lectures the power of that command. The next thing is to govern or to rule or to ex exercise influence. It means ability to achieve an objective. Now, what is it to exceed? To exceed is to go beyond where you are. Before I came here, I told them to come and carry me by 3 p.m. Why 3 p.m.? I had to make a broadcast to Qatar, to a church in Qatar, from my office. And I did a Zoom meeting with a church in Qatar that has branches in Dubai. I am a man resident in Ugeli. So if you were to describe me, you will describe me as a man in a local community. 
but I have international influence. That is to exceed where I am. And will you believe just one hour lecture I gave to them? They paid me 200,000 naira in advance into my account before I gave them that lecture. And after that lecture, I shared it on my YouTube channel. As of today, I am sure up to 2,000, no, the last time I checked, about 3,000 people had seen it all over the world. Today, if you die as a local champion, blame yourself. Your branch is only a description, it's not a prophecy. Where you are located is only where you are situated. It does not determine your location. You can be in Iwumudumu and influence the world today. You can exceed where you are. The next thing is to go beyond who you are. I trained as a medical doctor, but I have some of the best schools in Delta State. So when you were introducing me, you were introducing not a medical doctor, you introduce an educationist, you introduce a farmer, and you, did, you, you introduce a businessman. You did not introduce me as a real estate agent. I sell land to people overseas in Nigeria here. So I have exceeded who I am. My mother used to say, because I'm the last child, he used to say I was the ugliest child in the house because my head was disproportionately big. When she delivered me, she could not walk well. Not be me, cause my papa donate the back, my mama donate the front. So if they not feel push me out, not be my fault. But that was the description. I was a rascally child. I never went to school regularly. They had to beat me to go to school. But today, the ugliest child. Imagine how many cameras looking at me. Just imagine how many cameras. There are many cameras. How many cameras? Tell somebody near you, don't look at me like that. Tell, tell the person, don't look at me. Stand up and do it. Stand up and do it. Say, don't look at me like that. If you are taller than me, I'm shorter than you. If you are fatter than me, I'm thinner than you. Tell the person, I don't want to resemble you. I won't resemble what I think God said I'd be. I didn't hear an amen here. A lot of us settle down in one place based on the description of people. It's going beyond who you are. It's going beyond what you are currently doing. Or uh, the boundaries and expectations set for you. If you listen to what people say about you, what people think you are, you can never go far. The next thing is myself, myself. What is myself? Myself is the perception you have and you have accepted. Why well, gave me P7 in English? That means I don't know English. Why well, well, gave me P7 in English? But today, I make a living from speaking. I make a living from writing books. YouTube, YouTube. As I'm sleeping, I am making dollars from YouTube based on my lectures on YouTube. So why that gave me P7 Nadem Sabi? Tell somebody say Nadem Sabi. If you follow the comments of your wife concerning you, some of you will not go far. When I'm preaching, my wife is my greatest critic. Why you talk like this? Why you do like that? Why you do like that? Why you not say like this? If I'm preaching, if I preach on radio, when I'm preaching on radio, my wife will not say anything. If small boys are preaching on radio, I will hear my wife saying, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Me will marry you. When then they invite, go preach. You know they shout hallelujah. Now another person you own. Now you go to shout hallelujah. Mumu, my life. What kind of nonsense is that? Am I talking to somebody here? Many of you men, you see, 
We have people in the Church of God mission. More than any denomination in the country and in the world. But the tendency is that many of us have accepted labels. He is a deacon, so you just decay dead. I am an auxiliary usher in my church, but I'm your guest speaker. You can't send me away. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> so, the perception people hold about you, the accepted label, sometimes based on the circumstances. I'm a poor man's son. I grew up in the slums of Okere, and they invited us to come and speak recently. Do you know who I was speaking with? A man, when his father used to pass, he would blow a trumpet. Pam, 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 pam. Odame, a gobilele, minister for finance during the civil. My father will run out. We will run out. We will go and look at him. Do you know, Winners Chapel invited me to come and speak. I sat with Okoti Ebo's son in the same lecture hall. He gave his own speech. Me, I gave my own speech. I titled my own from my experience, becoming a ghetto millionaire. I come from the ghetto, but I'm a millionaire. It is not where I was born. It is not how I was born. It is not who gave birth to me. It's what God says I am going to become. I want you to leave this hall, going back home, knowing that it is not what church, what your wife, what your circumstances have said about you, it is what you are going to hear from here that you are going to manifest when you get home. Because you are going to exceed yourself. Okay. It is also based on functionality. Functionality. Okay. If somebody they carry yam, they waka, because they could not come by yam. If you want call them, what do you go call them? Yam come, rice come, uh, goat uh, meat come. Sometimes, hunter was a label. But I, I, I knew I had more than that. I knew I could be a comedian. I knew I can be anything. There was so much in me. I will come to that. So, I know many of you here are living below who you were born to be. I have experienced that. I know it, and I know many people are there. You see, there was one day, one of our elders, Elder Gracious, he was leading this same choir. I was sitting in the hall, and he sang, You are destined to win. You surrounded by his love, guided by his power, destined to win. You are destined to win. I was sitting beside AK, Elianyon Numa. I started crying. Because a day or two before, I had seen in Vanguard my junior at FGC Worry and my junior in medical school. I saw him in the Vanguard newspapers. They said a US based neurosurgeon did this and did that. And here was I at a bar. They were calling me Dr. Prosperity. But I knew I was more than that. I knew I was more than that. And I was leaving my clinic, passing through Jera, near Jera Hotel. And I was climbing a refuse bin to go into Ebema Street. And I spoke Igbo language. Efuolam. Efuolam. What is the meaning of F Olam in Igbo language? I don't lose. But my own F Olam was complicated. It was as if I went to market to do business and I lost all my money and lost my goods and I cannot find my way back home. I said F Olam, oh, F Olam. And we traveled across the Abba Express with AK Lion Numat for a burial. And I saw the kind of sand that we have at Worry, and I remembered my dreams. I remembered I wanted to be the governor of Delta State before Ibori. I remembered my dreams, but here was I, at Abba, frozen, stagnated, for 15 years. And I told Eke Elianyonuma, as I'm going back home, 
He said, what? I said, I'm going back home. He said, why? I said, I want to reconfigure my life. I want to redeem, redeem my dreams. And I went back home and told my wife, I want to go back home. Say so why? I said, I want to go back home to fulfill my life. And I sold the hospital and came to Ugeli. A few months ago, I was at Abraka preparing to interview the gubernatorial aspirants of PDP in Delta State. They made me the chairman of the debate panel until they scuttled it. And somebody called me from the United States. Say, so guess who is speaking? Guess who is speaking? I couldn't guess him. Then he called his name. You know who called me? He said, we are here in the United States watching your video. And a woman is saying, Dr. Pokey, Dr. Pokey, Dr. Pokey. And I said, I know him. The woman said, how can you know him? He said, okay, let me call him to show I know him. He called me, called me with my bungan name of in those days that I will not call here. He called me and I answered him. He said, I'm so proud of what you are doing. I see you all over the place. Say, so sometimes I feel as if I'm wasting my time here in the United States. That was somebody I admired. Somebody I said, a full um. The same person has reversed the statement all the way from United States. Why? When you live in one room, you would think you have property until you pack into a flat. When you live in one room, you will think you have property until you pack into a flat. When you live near a madman who is singing Ungwongo Jurejuna Moto, Jurejuna Moto, Ungwongo, Ungwongo. After 21 days, when you are washing clothes, you start saying, mm -mm 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 Grace don't catch you. Mediocrity and poverty, face mask, not they prevent them. When you listen to stupid people, you listen to people, you know, somebody who does not have where he is going to will help you waste your life and waste your time. That's why police know they hurry with your particulars. Because you don't get where they go. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. We are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works prepared for us in advance. The question I want to ask you here, have you reached your limit? Have you finished, have you finished giving your best? Have you finished the purpose of your creation? I wrote here, it is okay to feel inadequate. You are not the first person to feel inadequate. The first day I took microphone, the full gospel, A.K. I keep saying his name, A.K. Leon Numa saw me preach in Sunday school. And he said, I should come and preach during a men's fellowship outreach. And I went there and spoke. The next thing he said, I should come and speak in the full gospel business men's fellowship. For four days, because Don Odunze was not going to come. I was going to talk about marriage. And I was having problems in my marriage. Tell your neighbor, it doesn't matter. It is what God wants to do that matters. Sometimes when they come preach to now for worry, when me and my wife, they come, would they come like this? Person go just drive, enter my front. I say, why is this man driving like a madman? My wife go just turn, look me, madman, man of God. I go, I say, waiting, waiting, waiting. I know if you talk again because I'm a man of God. How you go talk, man of God? We will start the quarry, they talk, they talk. Before you know it, before we reach ECN, the thing don't scatter. Then he will come face inside. Me, I go face my side. Then he no go, they talk to me well. He go come, they talk with bad mind. Trailer, they come, oh, trailer, they come, trailer, they come. Stop, stop, stop. My wife, they mash break for me for inside. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here? You know they happen to now, not only me, not only me, not only me, when I go surprise, when I go see me for heaven, I want to be better people are here. But when I don't invite me, you can't tell me to go away. And so, 
because <laughs> I know who I am. I know that my wife did not call me. It is God that called me. I have a duty for my generation. My generation, I have stayed behind for too long. I cannot allow my mistakes to hold me down. I am coming to preach whether my wife quarreled with me or not. Am I talking to somebody? Recently, when I came from several travels, you know, go travel again. You know, go travel again. I live in a big compound, half an acre. I live on eight, eight bedrooms, ten toilets, with another house there. You know, go travel, leave me for here. You know, go travel, leave me for here. We go get tenant. I think I said, innocent are from preaching the one million combo. I said, withdraw one million. You know what thing happened? They can't ask me, when are you traveling again? <laughs> when, are you, when are you traveling again? <laughs> you will, the, <laughs> so, the first day, they said I should preach in the place of Don Odunzeg. And I was having problems with my wife on marriage. And I don't have a good memory. You see, I'm always going back to the notes. Because if I stay here, I'm not as sharp as this guy. So, I'm always going to refer to the note. If you reach here now, everything I wrote is with capital letters. I don't have good handwriting. If I write, I can't read what I wrote. So, <laughs> I, are you regretting bringing a guest speaker that is not... So, so I will memorize what I was going to preach. I will enter the toilet. By the time I finish relating, come back. I don't forget. So I went to Binet's hotel. I held the mic. Let's welcome our guest preacher, a medical doctor, a great man of God for work. They gave me the microphone. My hand started to shake. I raised the song. I'm bold. I'm strong. For the Lord my God is with me. I am not afraid to ask you. I, when they see my hand, they shake. They're teasing that they're anointing too much. They don't know what fear. <laughs> Only you knows your inadequacies. God does not know your inadequacies. Gideon said, I am the smallest in my family. I am from a small family. But God said, thou man of valor. I don't care the name you answered before you came here. I don't care the impression of Church of God mission concerning you. I don't care the impression of your wife concerning you. I am not concerned about who you are. But thou great man of valor. Praise the Lord. Moses, because of fear and his circumstances, he said, I cannot speak well. But Acts chapter 7 verse 22, the Bible says, Moses was a man of action and quick speech. Fear, poverty, lack, circumstances can reduce the you to below who you are supposed to become. We are here today to encourage you that no matter what has happened, no matter how it has happened, no matter where it happened, you are more than what you think about yourself. Jeremiah said, I am only a child at the age of 30. No. Jesus said, I mean God told him, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you authority to function. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 16 verse 13, all power, all rights, all dominion, all privileges have been given unto me. Go in my name. We are functioning with delegated authority. And if you read in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, he said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can't find one passage here, but it says, we have been clothed with Jesus. Now listen. Man sees you, and this is my bad dressing. 
But when Jesus sees you, even the devil sees you, you are clothed with glory. Let me illustrate it. If a trailer is coming along Ipoba Hill, and there's a small traffic police woman that is wearing the Nigerian police uniform. She doesn't have much strength. But the trailer is coming with 10 tons or 20 tons. That's 2,000, 20,000 kilograms. If it's traveling at a velocity of 100 kilometers per hour, the kinetic energy is half mv squared. But that traffic police woman does not need to study physics. She will just raise her hand. It, it is the trailer that will be... Am I talking to... It's the trailer that will be struggling to stop. There are circumstances around you that are still moving around you. It is because you have not raised your hand. It is because you have not raised your voice. Am I talking to somebody? I suspended genetics in my life. My wife is A.S. I am A.S. I didn't have power failure when I was young. So I was going to Jerusalem frequently. So I had a child in 86. I had a child in 87. I had a child in 88. Don't look at me. Oh. All gone. See the shoot person. You know. I see they strong. <laughs> So, and we didn't have any sickler. Then I gave eight years gap. I had the last child. That one is AA. So genetics was suspended. The God, I'm not encouraging you, the God that can kill men for your sake, can do anything. The God that can kill his own son for your sake, you don't know him enough. I have never had enough money before I did anything. I've always had faith that I'm a joint account owner with Jesus. The meaning of joint heirs is that you are co-signatories. You will not understand me. When you have this perception, I'm doing washing and setting on your head. I'm not dying it so that you won't have kidney failure. <laughs> Listen. I went to Ugeli, the pastors will say, money no de Ugeli, money no de Ugeli, now US, US, US. But God told me to come to Ugeli. My bishop prayed for me, you shall be greater than what has been great. And I was seeing a Gulf Motors carrying passengers to Onicha. The passengers will bring goods, goods. I never saw any vehicle carrying load back to Onicha that they did not sell. So, if there's no money in Nugeli, where are these people getting this money? There was money, but the pastors have not seen. They didn't have insight. They had a wrong lifestyle. So, I asked God, what do I do? He said, look at this. Check, praise the Lord. Sorry, sir. No worry. I should say I'm in spoiler, I'm not with the microphone. Maybe I'm not they used to better microphone. And Check. God told me, say, look at the rich people in this town. Do they dress like the pastors? I found out that the average rich man in Ugeli was living a very frugal life. A very simple life. Then he asked me, what do they do? I noticed that they buy land. They buy properties. Then he said, imitate them. I said, they're buying properties. I had only two shoes. I don't wear wristwatch. I have only one cuff link till today. I don't have any coral bead. I don't have any robo wrapper to wear to any place as at now. I don't have any coats now. Everything I'm wearing is a dash. Because when you get, they will give to you. It is rich man that they reward. They take from poor people. 
So I started practicing what I saw. I went to Canaan land and I lifted up my hands. He said, put your hands down. Observe. So I observed. I saw that Oyedepo has bookshop, Oyedepo has bakery, Oyedepo has that. So I came back home. I started buying land. I started doing things. Any money I get, I'll buy land. Then I started opening things that will bring money on a regular basis. So I opened a school, had a church. The Church of God Mission is inside my school. Because I learned in Abba that the church became rich, the school became richer than the church when I was running it after two years. So let me keep the church small there and be running the school. Because the church nearly killed me. When I say Genesis chapter 1, you will and so, today, I have a canteen in my school. That canteen gives me 40,000 naira every day. Times five days is 200,000. Times a week is 800,000. Times a month is 2.4 million. Times, times a time is 2.4 million. Times a year is 5.2 million. So I provided transport. Each child pays me 220,000 times 200 students is 4 million times a time times three times is 12 million. So I have a printing press. I noticed that the average great preacher was writing books. I learned from Mrs. Uh, Doc Professor Mary Gay. Uh, when my wife came, so I did a family devotion on Joseph. I published it as Hold On To Your Vision, and it sold. I was going to speak to Assemblies of God men from all over five states in Nigeria, in Lagos. So I wrote the book, the lecture, into a book titled Money Is An Idiot. Doctor, next time, don't give the thing to them free. Write it into a book. When you finish, then buy them. Did they hear me so? I wrote it into a book. Sir, I was making a quarter of a million every month from that book, from Assemblies of God Church. The last time I came here to speak to the men from all over the country, I spoke three messages. I sold books of 750,000. I left there with more than a million naira plus the honorarium. So there was money in Nugeli the pastors did not know. As of today, there is, I don't run church. I don't have members. I don't have committee that commits me. Church committee people can be very sinful, very wicked elders. I don't have... But there is no pastor that will intimidate me with properties. It is from that same Ugeli I was able to buy dollars to train three children overseas. As of today, when I sold the hospital at Aba, I had an insight. If you read, hold on to your vision. I said, I have stopped as a general practitioner, but I'm going to train my son to become a specialist in a foreign land beyond where I am now. And today, my son is an orthopedic surgeon in Germany. Not the bad people they operate on, no, Oibo. Am I talking to somebody? As you sit somewhere, don't complain. Poor people, people who never do well in life, who never exceed themselves, have the following C's. Number one, they complain. Number two, they criticize. Oh, what did Ugeli pastors not call me? Oh, I don't dress well. Oh, I'm a miser. Oh, I don't have sense of fashion. They said all kinds of things. I went to preach to them in PFN. They went to a whole meeting that they should not invite me again. That I'm too brash and I'm too rude. They didn't invite me again. So, today, now them they dodge, they can't invite me. 
their president. The last place I went to speak to one of their bishops, he gave me half a million. Now then the boy, they can't invite me. If you listen to those who criticize, those who condemn, and those who are cynical, you should say, now, Nari Han, I preach on radio. Somebody called me, Dr. Apoki. Now, Nari Han, you tell they preach this thing. Number two, criticism, cynicism, condemnation, and consumption. A man who likes the following Fs can never excel. If you like females, I told you in the last convention I don't do adultery. Some of you went home and started saying, is it possible for Dr. Poki not to be doing adultery? I don't do adultery. Adultery will hinder me. Adultery will waste my money. Adultery will confuse my family. I will go commit adultery. Go burn one picking with table tennis head. Come. Come confuse my family. No. The four I have, and this one I have that I'm quarreling with, is good enough. We quarrel, we settle. We quarrel, we settle. Marriage is like pepper soup. As you they drink, uh, ah, it go pepper you, drink. Uh. As you they drink, uh, kiss you, abura gore, drink. Uh. As you they drink, uh, water go come out from your eye, drink. Uh. As you they drink, uh, it go hot, make you uh, drink water. As you they drink, uh, you go see bone, leave the bone, eat the flesh. Am I talking to somebody here? If you like females, you like fermented drink. Ameno, ameno, dorime, dorime. Una no no one for here. Una be Christians. Una be. If you go by, you will hear ameno, ameno, dorime, champagne, blood purifier. That's when they do lapono, they brew ameno. You will buy a bottle of drink for 250,000. Are you a mad? If you like flashy cars, if you like food, you like fantasy. If you like uh, food, fantasy, females, and uh, fermented drink, you can hardly do well as a man. Stop complaining. Ask God to open your eyes to give you insight to who and what you want to be. Now, the whole essence of humanity is for productivity. The whole essence of humanity is activity. Let me quickly tell you this. When purpose is added to existence, it turns to living. When purpose is added to existence, it turns to living. One day, I was walking at number 59, Ikotek Pene Road, where my hospital was. And I told God, Happy New Year. God, thank you for this New Year. He told me, my son, you have been existing. You have not started living. I said, what? He said, yes. He said, existence is when you breathe in and breathe out. And I extrapolated it when you share the same testimonies that animals share. God granted us journey messes. Animals travel long distances and come back home. Dolphins travel long distances. Birds migrate long distances. Oh, my wife delivered like a Hebrew woman. Pigs deliver 13 children. They don't need O and G person to attend to them. Oh, I survived an accident. You can cut off the leg of a cockroach, one leg, and it will still be going. Oh, I built a house. Even ants built houses. Am I talking to somebody? The ant house is air conditioned throughout the year. It has fungal gardens inside. By mathematical extrapolation, the ant hill, a human being is supposed to build a house that is 11 kilometers tall. So what did you build? God told me, until somebody thanks me because of you, you have not started living. When somebody wakes up and starts thanking me because of you, so the day you decide to live Beyond your personal life, eternal life has started. We are here because of a man and his wife. The archbishop and his wife lived beyond themselves. That's why we are here. 
who will thank God because of you? When I heard that, I don't know if some of you here followed me, some of those from Abba. I said, I'm going to motherless baby's home. I said, I'm going to remand home. I said, I'm going to leper colony. I said, I'm gathering clothes to take care of mad people in the streets. It was that thought process. That thought process of doing beyond myself that attracted God's hand upon me. Am I talking to somebody? If average Nigerian, why will Ekwerimadu, Ekwerimadu not be arrested in London? Ekwerimadu's salary for 18 years and his allowances is enough to build a renal center. Why will Ekwerimadu not be arrested overseas? When he will sit in a Senate that will approve 200 million naira, 200 million dollars to buy mosquito nets. We and mosquito don't sign agreement since. They don't trouble us, we don't trouble them. The one way come too close, we clap for her, we kill her. How come mosquito net became so important? 200 million dollars. Ask yourself, how much does it take to build a mosquito net factory? The budget for cooking gas in Aso Rock is 360 million uh, naira. Do they eat elephant for breakfast? The budget for Aso Rock Clinic was more than the budget for the t all the teaching hospitals. And there's no Panadol there. It's good they arrested him there. And they should arrest more of them. When I was in medical school, the king of Saudi Arabia used to send his children and his family to UCH for medical treatment. But today, our presidents live overseas. Uh, one is living in Dubai. Another one is living, uh, goes to London, France, comes back. Some of the doctors that treat them overseas are Nigerian doctors. What kind of wicked people? What kind of lousy people? So, we were created in such a way. The day you decide to live beyond yourself, when Jesus said, don't you know I should be about my father's business? The Bible says he grew in stature, obtained favor from God. This is the person in whom the fullness of the deity dwelt in the bodily form. He obtained favor from God and from man. Reverend sir, you see those videos I do in the farm? Nobody then they give me money. Nobody the video. It isn't a, I mean, it isn't a cassava when I plant. I farm on 40 acres. My land. But you think that is what gives me money? No. There are people outside this country, when they watch that video, they see in me the kind of life they want to live. I did a video of Petra Institute because I'm building a polytechnic, I want to turn to a university. I did a video and I shared the vision of Petra Institute of raising people who will do fashion and designing, people who will do IT, people who will do catering and hotel management, people who will do agriculture, so that they don't look for work. Somebody saw it in the United States and sent me a message. I'm going to send you one billion. I don't know him. I never see one billion before I go faint. I looked at the thing. I sent it to my son. I said, see, it can't be zero. He said, it's one billion. Reverend, inside Bush, he has sent the first installment of one million. He has sent it. He told me he will complete it, that I should turn the plan to a university. Now, me get the one billion. It was because I house, not bought by me, it was bought beyond me. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. The same man, I did another video, and he saw it. 
and sent me three million. Then I told him, you don't have property in Ugeli and Uroboland and Wari area. Let me buy property for you so that you don't base your property in Abuja alone. And he sent me 75 million. When I paid the money into the account, eh, I go look the account, now maybe this. Me will not get statement of account to go to American embassy. 75 million. And I bought properties of 75 million. The properties have gone to more than 100 and something million. And he said, Dr. Pokey, I went to preach in their church in Redeem. When I finished preaching, he said, this, your messages must not waste. I will pay for your radio program. So he pays 800,000 for me every year. Last two Christmas, he sent one million to buy food for my people in my community, old people. It's in my mother's side. He sent another 650 million. You see, every person when they worry me, fire. Anywhere they take my name, go to Vokovu, fire. It is because you live near witches. and your neighbors are witches and you are the only person progressing among them. They go, they jealous you even, you say they put something for granted and match. You they craze? They know where you want match. Other people don't match the place. I mean, you go where Dr. Ralph Slippers walk up as the place. When you start to think of humanity, humanity starts to connect to you. People greater than you start to connect to you. My prayer for you, you will live here not thinking of only what you will eat. You will think of what communi com the community will benefit from you. Humanity will benefit from you. And because of that, humanity will connect to you. What you don't have will be given to you. As you think beyond yourself and start to function beyond yourself, you will receive resources to function beyond yourself in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I want to say two things and I am done. I wrote here that when purpose is added to existence, it turns to living. Living is, I'm going to worry, I go soon close. No, 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 give me. <laughs> go sit down, listen, I go soon close. <laughs> Wahala man, Dr. Pokey. When direction is added to anointing, it becomes commission. And commission cannot go without anointing. What is anointing? Anointing is, is the connection of divinity to humanity to function beyond his installed capacity. Listen, David Wachuku, um, mascot, you know David Wachuku? Oh, no. It's late? Oh. I was their Sunday school superintendent. And we were studying the Acts of Apostles. And we were talking about the miracles of old. And he asked me, Dr. Apoki, where are the miracles of old? You can never hear me pray loud. I don't pray loud. My, my God is not deaf. I whisper to him the way he whispers to me. When you see a professor praying and shaking, he said, know that his own trouble is much. How can you, are you an imbecile? How can you be brave? <laughs> How can you go for a shell interview? It's time to like I ask God, where are the miracles of old? He said, I will make you an answer to that question. I say, how, sir? He said, leave church politics. Most of you here, you are stunted because you think that this is the place. It's not here. Ministry and existence goes beyond here. My church offering, the church I attend, they can't make 200,000 in one hour. 
So I don't sit in the altar. I sit somewhere else. I help carry children. The ministry and living is beyond this place. He said, leave church politics. Leave bitterness. Don't hold bitterness against people. He said, if you can believe my word and trust on the Holy Spirit, he said, I will use you to answer that question. You people remember when Balogun used to come to church? You remember I was not there? I took time out. Here am I, use me. Here am I, use me. Here am I, use me. Beyond me, I was already a medical doctor. I was importing cars. Here am I, use me. And I will wake up and hold my children and my wife for family devotion. They will fall down. And as I started seeing strange things, beyond what I was used to, beyond my categorization, most times then as a deacon is to come and take offering. Then you sit down. Then I saw Benny him preaching on, red, on television. He made his hand like this. 3,000 men fell down in the large hall. And I went to touch the, I put it on pause and I touched it. I said, God, I want some of this. And we went to church. And Bishop Edo Hansi was preaching, preaching, preaching. Witnesses are here. Preaching, preaching. And I said, Holy Spirit, tell Bishop to tell me to pray after he finishes preaching. How can Bishop finish preaching and tell D.K. Dickin to pray? I know the man was just managing me at that time. Because I gave him trouble in the church committee one time. They drove me away. <laughs> the man, that man had patience with people. Oh. He was just managing me. The day he was to ordain me, I went to his, he said, I should go and bring something for his drawer. When I pulled the drawer, I saw one letter I wrote to him back. <laughs> I'm sure he was happy I left. I said, tell Bishop to tell me to pray. He said, Dr. Pokey, come and pray for us. I said, Holy Spirit, remember that Benny Hinton. You know, the Holy Spirit is a sanctified Olofofo. When you put Moses in a basket, he will go and hug the website of Pharaoh's daughter, www.pharaoh's daughter forward slash go back for water side. Am I talking to somebody? When Jonah, no one go where go go. God go go hug fish. www.fish swallow Jonah. Mark you, eri eri, don't eat this one. Go swallow Jonah, then he go vomit her. If they want to wait Daniel for lions, then www.lion le onye chukutere manu onabia. And Bishop Edo asked him, I should pray. I say, Holy Ghost, remember that Benny hint, you know. Right there in the church, no person heard me. And he said, I, I raised the same song that Benny Hinn raised. Hallelujah. They were looking at me. When, when did this one start? <laughs> now when did this one start? Hallelujah. And my heart was beating very fast. Too. Buku, buku, buku. In case there was power failure. You are good enough. Forget your mind. You are good enough. You can go beyond your fears. You can go beyond your doubts. You can go beyond your failures. You are good enough. I said, the power of God is coming up on somebody there. Boom! Somebody fell there. I said, Le Kwamo. I said, Holy Ghost, let's do it again. Another person went, broom, broom. When I came out, my children came to help me. Daddy did daddy, daddy did daddy, daddy did daddy, daddy did Benny him. I prophesy upon you. Somebody will celebrate you. You will shock somebody. You will disappoint somebody. The anointing is upon you. Go and excel. Thou man of valor, men arise, men arise. The world is waiting for you. God bless you. Please, 
just listen. The anointing has been there. The day you came to we had press center. Press center. You know I was preaching that day. And you sat down. You must learn to have Holy Ghost long throat. You must have, learn to have Holy Ghost long throat. As I carry the microphone, they introduce him. I said, this man is going to invite me to Benin. I said it. Nobody here at this. So. He goes, he drive me. Please, let's just lift up our hands and just give thanks to God for what we are here tonight. Just thank him that it will not just end here. It will exceed this place. Please make room for him. Don't worry, there's another session in the evening today. Let's just give thanks to God for all we have heard this morning. Hallelujah.